Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Snack Break. Uh, I'm Monique, aka The Eatin' This Bitch, and today we've got a little breakfast treat for our video. We've got the Kellogg's Ego Grab and Go Liege Style Waffles. What is a Liege Style Waffle, you ask? Uh, they actually have a very helpful, I mean, I know what, I mean, I know what they are, but <laughs> for those who don't know, know what they are, they have a very helpful little infographic right up here on the top. So I'll just read that off for y'all. Uh, so this is a, uh, what is a Liege Shaw waffle? Inspired by classic Belgian street food. Uh, it's made with a tasty brioche dough. Brioche is like a enriched, slightly sweet style of bread. Uh, and crunchy bits of pearl sugar that caramelize when baked. Makes for a satisfying breakfast or snack with no syrup needed. So all of that like crispy, lovely pearl sugar in there gives it the sweetness that you need, that you don't really need any syrup. You can just, you know, grab it and go. Um, very popular snack. Uh, there's a truck, actually a food truck, uh, that is in this in New York uh, called Wafels and Dingas. Um, and they sell this type of waffle very very delicious um so the whole conceit of this snack is that it is ready to go meaning that you can just grab it from the freezer let it thaw for a little bit on your counter and leave with it i'm not really down for cold waffles so i elected to toast mine you could also put these in the microwave or in your air fryer i use the toaster um this is still uh, a little bit yeah this is still a little bit warm. Nice. Because uh, I toasted it just before we started recording. Um, this is the strawberry variety of this product. I think there might be a chocolate or blueberry. Don't quote me on this. This is the only kind that they had in my supermarket. So um, I'm assuming there's probably at least one other variety uh, in store. Now, usually with um, strawberry flavored products back in the day they would used to like cut up little pieces of cranberry and then put strawberry flavoring in it this looks like it has actual dried strawberries in it so i'm hoping to get a nice uh strawberry flavor in there there we go it's very cute now i said that they say that this is good for like a breakfast treat i'm like this is like a little ass waffle <laughs> so i don't know if this is very satisfying for someone for breakfast um, but it looks good. It definitely looks, uh, like a Liege style waffle. So let's give it a try. It's definitely a little dry, but I attribute that to being a frozen product. Usually stuff like this that is frozen could a little be a little bit on the dry and gummy side. The flavor isn't bad. You do you are getting that sort of like almost fluffy, doughy nature to the alleged Deliege style waffle. Um, I'm tasting the little bits of pearl sugar, so I am getting that crunch. The strawberry flavor is not that pronounced. Um, I don't know, to me it's just coming off as a general sort of like tangy fruit flavor. When I use freeze dried strawberries quite a bit in cookies and making granola, and the flavor from that is really bright. And this does not come out, come off as bright as I would like. It's certainly not bad. It would be nice with like a cup of coffee or a nice cup of tea. I'm wondering how cost effective this is though. There's only, <laughs> of course, as I'm dropping fruit bits all over my floor. Um, there's only four in this package, and I believe that these were like five or six dollars at our local grocery store. So, I, I mean, this would be a nice treat, but I don't know if I would make this like an everyday sort of affair, maybe a sort of like weekend breakfasty thing. But if you're eating it on a weekend, I'm not really sure if you're grabbing it and going anywhere. Um, usually to me, when I'm having waffles on a weekend, it's a, excuse me, it's a nice little treat. 
you're sitting, you're lingering, you're hanging out, not really a grab and go sort of situation. But certainly, certainly not bad at all. Definitely think it's worth a try. And like I said, with a nice cup of coffee, this would be a nice little treat. Hmm. Let's see what our cameraman thinks about it. Almost donut like. Yeah, you're getting a sort of like fried taste and flavor. So it's definitely in that sort of like donut-y, donut like Danish-y vibe that you're getting. So yeah, definitely not bad. <clears throat> Very interesting product. It's nice to see them branching out and doing something with a little uh, international flavor or vibe. I'd be interested in seeing them do other like sort of like breakfast treats from other cultures and like making them like grab and grow grab uh, grab and go toaster friendly situations uh, so I, I i'm curious to see how far they're going to take this concept but overall not bad not bad would i buy these again mm, i mean i have a waffle maker <laughs> so like if at some point i wanted to make my own leh style waffles maybe i would give it a whirl we'll see but um yeah i mean if you see these in your supermarket and you want to give them a try I think you should. They're not terrible. They're not great, but they're not bad. All right. Um, so you'll notice that we're only doing one snack today. So this video is a little bit short. Uh, that's the way it's going to be from now on. It's going to be one snack per video. And these are going to be exclusively on the YouTubes. The uh, IG algorithm is trash. And um, I've, we've, I've been finding that uh, my videos are like, doing really decently on YouTube. Um, and I'm really over spending hours trying to upload my videos to Instagram. <laughs> so this will be the first video that will be exclusively on YouTube. Uh, I will be posting little previews and posts about these snacks and stuff to alert you when to head on over to the YouTubes. Um, but yeah, if you've been rocking with me for this long, thank you so much. Um, Instagram was a really great place to do this, um, and a really great place to spend time. Um, I will still be there. Like I said, the videos will just be on YouTube now. So hopefully you'll join me over there and, um, enjoy a new viewing experience and not have to stare at your phone so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of The Snack Break. Have a great day, um, and eat some snacks. Because that always makes me feel better. And I know it'll make you feel better too.